Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. I am Faraz Qurban Rajpar and in this lecture I will discuss with you about estrogen biosynthesis, metabolism, biological actions and its structure activity relationship. Now let's have a look at the outline of this lecture. At the end of this lecture you will be able to learn about the brief description examples of different type of sex hormone, biosynthesis of estrogen, metabolism of estrogen, biological activities of estrogen and the most important structure activity relationship of estrogen in which we will discuss about the structure of estrogen, how structure of estrogen is differing from the other type of steroid hormone and the different type of derivative of estrogen. At the end of this lecture, you may also find a quiz for your self-assessment. Now let's start this lecture. Sex hormones. There are different type of sex hormone which are present in male and female. In case of female, the major sex hormone are the estrogen and progesterone and testosterone serve as the male sex hormone. All of these sex hormone are generally belongs to the class of steroid hormone. Progesterone generally serve as the biosynthetic precursor for the different type of hormone. Like we have already discussed that it has served as the biosynthetic precursor for the hydrocortisone and beside this to the mineralocorticoid that is the aldosterone. But in comparison to the hydrocortisone and aldosterone, progesterone also serve as a biosynthetic precursor for the testosterone and estrogen but to a lesser extent means in their synthesis it play a minor role. Beside this, the male sex hormone which is testosterone, this is named as male sex hormone because in case of male it is biosynthesized in the higher concentration. Testosterone is served as the biosynthetic precursor for the estrogen. Estrogen is synthesized from the testosterone by the help of aromatase enzyme. Biosynthesis of estrogen. The estrogen which is endogenously synthesized inside the human body is the estradiol. Estradiol has the maximum of the estrogenic activity. Beside this, this estradiol will be further converted into the other type of estrone and estriol which are basically the metabolite of the estradiol. And these two estron and estriol have the lesser activity, less estrogenic activity as compared to the estradiol. Estrogen is usually synthesized from the testosterone and androstene dione. The androstene dione and testosterone when acted upon by the aromatase enzyme they get converted into the estradiol. Estradiol is generally the estrogen hormone. Okay, the role of aromatase enzyme will be the it causes the aromatization in the ring A of the nucleus. We will discuss this uh, structure of estradiol, estrone, and estriol in the SAR topic of this lecture. Generally. Estrogen are normally produced in larger quantities in the ovaries and placenta because as it is the one of the female sex hormone that's why it is synthesized in higher quantities in ovaries and placenta and in lower amount it is synthesized from the adrenal gland and in trace amount in the testis. Generally the estrogen which is synthesized inside the female body, its concentration varies according to the condition. As if in case of pregnancy, it is synthesized thousand times in greater concentration than the menstrual cycle. And during the pregnancy, 
the corpus luteum produces the higher concentration of these type of estrogen hormone like estradiol and other estrogen during the first months of pregnancy but in the late stages of pregnancy placenta is responsible for the synthesis of estrogen hormone beside this estrogen can be also synthesized in the from the non ovarian sites and the adipose tissue but in during the late stages in the postmenopausal women now let's look at the metabolism of estrogen the estrogen that is produced in the greatest amount inside the female body is the 17 beta estradiol okay so now that 17 beta estradiol is converted into the two metabolites that is the estrone and the estriol the 17 beta in the name of estradiol represent the hydroxyl group or alcohol group at the carbon number 17 in case of estrone ketone group present at this position estradiol is oxidized and then converted into the estrone after that the estrone is further converted into the estriol estriol the triol represent the three hydroxy group in its structure estriol is the major estrogen that is found in the human urine it is generally synthesized or it is being formed from the estrone by the hydroxylation at the carbon 16 means it has the third additional hydroxy group which is present at the carbon number 16 and beside this the carbon number 17 which is the ketone in case of estrone undergo reduction to converted into the hydroxyl group so estriol has the three additional hydroxyl group estradiol can also be directly converted into the estriol without the intermediate estrone stage in both pregnant and non pregnant women the three primary estrogen which are estriol estradiol and estrone they get also metabolized to small amount of their other derivatives or other metabolites and they can be 2 hydroxy estrone 2 methoxy estrone 4 hydroxy estrone and 16 alpha hydroxy and 17 beta estradiol so these are the other type of metabolites but the very small amount after the therapeutic administration of estrogen during the first 24 hour about 50% of the drug get excreted in the urine and the remainder amount is excreted through the bile and reabsorbed consequently several days are required for the complete excretion of the given dose so when estrogen is therapeutically administered then during the first 24 hour its 50% get excreted out in the urine and the total dose excretion require the several days during metabolism after the formation of different type of metabolite the conjugation then take into place the conjugation that is very important in the estrogen transport and metabolism in the ovaries estrogen are present in the unconjugated form but the conjugated form of estrogen is present in the plasma and other tissues as conjugation is the metabolism reaction it takes place inside the liver the primary estrogen conjugates that are formed in the plasma and urine are the glucuronide and the sulfate the sodium salts of estrogen are the water soluble so the conjugation of estrogen during the metabolism is taking place inside the liver and the estrogen that is present in the ovaries is usually in the unconjugated form and the conjugated form are the glucuronide and sulfate mean estrogen form conjugated with the glucuronides and sulfate and these conjugated form are present in the plasma and urine 
So now let's have a look at the general overview of the different type of biological activities of estrogen. Estrogen generally play an important role inside the female body during the menstrual cycle as it is the responsible for the development of different type of secondary sexual characteristic. Like it can be involved in the development of lipid and other tissues and the development of the breast shape and the function. The pigmentation of nipples in the female body is also due to the role of the estrogen. Estrogen has also a role in the growth and development of different parts or organ inside the female body like involved in the development of fallopian tube, uterus and vagina. Besides this, it also plays an important role in the sexual arousal. And estrogen has also a role in the physiological changes that are taking place at the menopause stage. Among these, like the when bones start beginning to lose their tenacity okay so because beside this gout threat and the coronary atherosclerosis these are the different type of physiological changes that are taking place at the menopause structural classes of estrogen so generally estrogen are categorized under the three classes on the basis of their source and structure. The natural steroidal estrogen are the estradiol and the estrone. Beside this, synthetic derivative of steroidal estrogen are also synthesized. Among those are the thenyl estradiol and mestranol. The non-steroidal synthetic estrogen is the estilbestrol. The steroidal estrogen which includes the naturally occurring estrogen that are endogenously synthesized inside the body, they have the poor oral bioavailability because of the rapid metabolism because they get converted into the estrone due to the oxidation. So due to this reason their synthetic derivative have been made by the addition of 17 alpha alkyl group to their structure and due to the addition or due to the this substitution of alkyl group at the 17th number carbon a new molecule is formed that is the ethanyl estradiol this ethanyl estradiol prevent or blocks the oxidation of estradiol into the estrone so before this we have estradiol which can be converted into the estrone due to its oxidation metabolism but now we have made its new synthetic derivative by the substitution at 17th carbon with the alkyl group and now the new molecule ethanyl estradiol is formed and ethanyl estradiol has very effective oral bioavailability and if due to the blockage of oxidation to the estrone means it cannot be get metabolized to convert it into the estrone and its estrogenic activity is also good the most therapeutically useful steroidal estrogen are produced semi-synthetically from the natural precursor among those are the diosgenin. This is a plant sterol. So now let's discuss about the structure activity relationship SAR of estrogen or let's discuss about the different type of derivative which are synthesized from the estrogen. So now let's discuss about the basic ring nucleus for the estrogen hormone or estradiol. Okay, so the basic nucleus that is present in the structure of estradiol or estrogen hormone is the estrain nucleus that is the carbon 18 nucleus. 
okay so in that we have the total 18 carbon atom present but in case of estrogen steroidal structure is not essential for the activity why because in estrogen in the a ring of the steroidal nucleus there is a aromatization okay means alternate double bond are present in this structure so due to this steroidal nucleus has been modified you can observe in case of hydrocortisone or other type of steroidal hormone that in a ring we have double bond only at this position at the carbon number four but in case of estrogen we have aromatization in the a ring so there is a hint for you that how you can draw the structure for the estriol or estrogen hormone first of all you just draw the strain nucleus means this nucleus carbon 18 nucleus up to here carbon number 17 this additional methyl is the carbon number 18 okay then make a ring aromatic means what you have to just place alternate double bond in the a ring simply you make a ring as a benzene ring okay and at the carbon number three you have to place the alcohol or hydroxyl group these are the major differences of estrogen structure with comparison to the other type of steroidal hormone because in case of the cortisol or other type of steroidal hormone we have the ketone group at the carbon number three but in case of estrogen hormones like estradiol and other we have the alcohol or hydroxy group at carbon number three and beside this aromatization in this a ring now let's check the structure of estradiol estradiol contain the two hydroxy group one at the carbon number three and other at the carbon number 17 for the essential activity or the estrogenic activity which is a uh, produced by the estradiol is because of this a aromatic ring and the carbon number three hydroxy group in case of other type of steroidal hormone we have the ketone group at the carbon number three but in case of estradiol there is hydroxy group and a ring is aromatic because estradiol belongs to the class of estrogen hormone and this is the unique structural feature of estrogen hormone structure that a ring is aromatic and hydroxy group at present at the carbon number three and in estradiol the other second hydroxy group is present at the 17th position so you simply first of all draw the strain carbon 18 nucleus and then make a ring aromatic and just place two hydroxy group at the position 3 and 17 so this will become the structure of estradiol now let's check out the structure of estrone the own in the name of estrone represent that it contain the ketone group okay ketone group at the carbon number 17 Estrone is usually less active than the estradiol but more active in comparison to the estriol because estrone is the metabolite of estradiol. Estradiol undergoes to the oxidation and then it will be converted into the estrone means during metabolism estradiol carbon number 17 hydroxy group which is present in the estradiol at the carbon number 17 undergo the oxidation and get converted into the ketone group so in estrone we have a ketone group present at the carbon number 17 
has only 33% activity. Means if we compare the estrogenic activity of estrone with the estradiol, then it has only 33% of the activity. So what are the major difference in the structure of estrone? We have only additional ketone group at the carbon number 17. This was the alcohol or hydroxy group in case of the estradiol. So the hydroxy group of carbon number 17 in estradiol undergo the oxidation and then it will convert it into the ketone. Estriol. Estriol contain the three hydroxy group in the chemical structure. Triol represent the three hydroxy group. These are present at the position of carbon number 3, 17 and 16. So in comparison to the estradiol, we have additional hydroxy group. How estriol is formed? The estrone which is formed by the oxidation of estradiol, estrone will undergo reduction. Then it will convert it into the estriol. Basically, the carbon number 17 of estrone. In case of estrone structure, we have keto group at the carbon number 17. So that keto group will undergo the reduction and will convert it into the alcohol or hydroxy group. Beside this, hydroxylation takes place at the carbon number 16. And that's why we have overall three hydroxy group in the chemical structure of estriol. This one, carbon number 17. And this hydroxy group is formed due to the reduction of ketone group of estrone. Now let's discuss about the different type of synthetic derivative which can be formed from the estradiol. We have already discussed that estradiol has poor oral bioavailability. So that's why it undergoes through the rapid metabolism and its 17 hydroxy group is converted into the ketone and it forms new metabolite that is the estrone. So to avoid this, a new synthetic derivative has been made, which is made by the substitution or addition of additional alpha ethanyl group at carbon number 17. This new molecule is known as the ethanyl estradiol. This one. So, in comparison to the estradiol structure, ethanyl estradiol has additional this ethanyl group at carbon number 17. This ethanyl estradiol has 12 times greater activity than the estradiol. Why? Because now, in case of ethanyl estradiol, this carbon number 17 hydroxy group will not undergo oxidation and will not convert it into the ketone group. Means now estrone is not formed. Ethanyl estradiol undergo through the metabolism and it's the Metabolite which are formed by the metabolism of ethanyl estradiol are usually the methyl ethers. An other synthetic derivative of estrogen hormone can be made by the ethrification. So, ethanyl estradiol which was made by the substituting carbon number 17 with ethanyl group can also be modified for the formation of new derivative that is the mestranol. Okay, mestranol is usually formed by substituting the carbon number 3 hydroxy group with the methyl. This will lead to the formation of 3 methoxy ether, means we have done the ethrification reaction. We have formed the new ether of the ethanyl estradiol and that new molecule is known as the mestranol.
Mestanol is nothing but it is the 3 methoxy ether of ethanyl estradiol. So, after that, when this mestanol undergo through the metabolism, it will produce the estradiol by the demethylation because when it undergo through the metabolism, this methyl group will undergo the demethylation and it will get removed. Okay, so now the remaining structure or the remaining new molecule will be the ethanyl estradiol. This is the ethanyl group present at the carbon number 17. Okay, so this was an other synthetic derivative which can be formed from the ethanyl estradiol by making its 3 methoxy ether at carbon number 3. Now the esterification. Esterification is the formation of ester derivative of estradiol hormone. Its ester derivative can be made by substituting at carbon number 17 hydroxy group with different type of acids. Like over here, we have an example estradiol valerate. Its chemical structure contains the ester at the carbon number 17. This one hydroxy group is now being substituted with the particular type of acid. So, what is the advantage of formation of ester derivative is that it prolongs the action of drug due to this ester group and it delayed the absorption and metabolism due to this action of the drug has been prolonged and other inactive metabolites are not formed in case of the ester derivative. So these were the different type of synthetic derivative which have been made from the estradiol. Beside this there are many other S derivative of estrogen hormone which can be made but we have discussed only these few main type of derivatives. So this was all about the SAR of estrogen and that we have discussed the structure of estradiol and their different derivative like we have discussed its metabolite that is the ketone form estrone which is formed at the C17 hydroxyl oxidation and we have also discussed estriol which is having the hydroxy group at the 3rd, 17th and 16th position and then we have discussed about the structure of ethanyl estradiol that is the synthetic derivative of estradiol made by the C17 ethanyl substitution. After that, we have also discussed the esterification and etrification means the esterification ester derivative was made at the 17th position substitution and ethers are made by substituting the third position hydroxy group with the methyl. Now let's have a quiz. Question number one. From which organs estrogen hormone is normally synthesized? Number two. Write down any two functions of estrogen. Number three. Why ethanyl estradiol is synthesized? What is the reason? Number four. What are the structural differences between estrogen and other steroid hormones? Number five. What is the advantage of ester derivative of estrogen? Why they are made? So this is all about this lecture. You may post your answer in the comment section. Thank you so much. Allah bless you all.